Americans deliver blunt assessment of Biden's re-electability ahead of 2024. Retire and move on Washington, D.C. Americans in the nation's capital were split on whether President Biden has accomplished enough to win their votes for the 2024 presidential election. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, he just is not looking out for us, Cindy, of Texas, told Fox News. She criticized Biden's decision to shut down the Keystone XL pipeline and his southern border policies. We're all paying for those who want a free ride, Cindy said. I'm not gonna vote for him, watch. More Fox News digital originals here but Rick said he supported a second term for his home state president. I'm with Joe, the Delaware man said. He responds to the economic needs of the vast majority of us, he's just kept an even. Keel on things versus our former president, Rick added. Mainstream media pundits stunned that Trump, Biden remains so close in the polls. Kind of shocking as the 2024 election cycle moves into full swing, Republican voters are set to choose from a crowded field of candidates with polls consistently showing former President Trump leading the pack. And while Biden is the presumptive Democratic nominee, the president faces his own long-shot challengers. Based on Biden's performance in his past years, I would vote for him again in 2024, Andrew, who lives D.C., told Fox News. He said Biden's support for Ukraine and decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan were some of the many reasons he plans to vote for the Democrat again in 2024. He's been good on the issues I care about, so I'm willing to continue that support, Andrew said. Less than 40% of voters, meanwhile, held a favorable view of Biden, with many concerned about his age or disappointed with how he's handled certain issues, according to a Wall Street Journal poll published this month. Therion, from Texas, said he's considering options, but doesn't intend to vote for Biden. I'd still vote for Trump, he said. I'm still open, but it's definitely not the one we have now. The WSJ poll also found that a rematch between Trump and Biden, if held at the time the survey was conducted, would result in a 46% to 46% tie. But some Americans in D.C. told Fox News they preferred a fresh face in the White House. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, I would not support Biden nor Trump, Michael, from Michigan, said. It's time for them to retire and move on. Click here to get the Fox News app. I would like to see a younger generation come into power and take the baton and move it forward, he said. It's time for more progressive thinking from younger folks. Click here for more from American voters on the 2024 presidential election.